While of course it's okay to be thinking about what you want your app to look like, we actually recommend addressing your database first, above all else. You know, most applications that are interactive are very data driven. So if you address the architecture of your data, how you organize it all behind the scenes, it's going to put you in a much better position to put together your logic as well as your designs. You know, your data structure does inform both of those other aspects of the app. Organizing your database structure first is going to help you figure out your initial scope of work. How comprehensive do you want to get with your data in the early versions? Because this will have a ripple effect in the amount of logic you have to build initially and the complexity of your page designs. Organizing your database structure first is also going to help you make decisions on what your data sources need to be. Is all of your data going to be user generated through inputs that you've designed on your pages? Do you need to integrate with third party systems through API connections or plugins? Or do you need to create an import system where users can come in with their own CSV and load data in that way? Not to mention by setting up your data structure first, you can quickly create test records and that will help you better preview your front end designs because you can actually see those pages with your data actually loaded in. So it's just going to be more valuable for you if you do it in that order. So by addressing the database structure first, you're going to have a lot of important strategic decisions made for you. You'll figure out what the highest priorities are in terms of your core features. You won't spread yourself too thin on tackling too much at once. And you'll lay a really solid foundation for both your logic and your designs that come afterward. And don't get me wrong, your database structure will evolve over time. You'll return to it and make tweaks as you get feedback from your users, as you want to make improvements or introduce new features. So this is something that will continue to change. You're not going to build it once and then just leave it alone forever. But it is the area that you want to start with because of how much of an effect it can have in the rest of the application.